Hello, this is Dr. Acton from Malmesbury Science and this is Quadrating. So today we are going to do an investigation um, to estimate the population size of daisies in our field. To do this, you will need a quadrat and you will need to know the area of your field. I've measured the length and width of the field using a trundle wheel, approximating it to a rectangle. Multiplying those gives me a total area of 620 metres squared. Ideally, what you want to do is to split this area into a one metre square grid, for which every square has a coordinate, top right being 3120. Then, use a random number generator to choose random coordinates for your quadrat. This removes any bias. To be accurate, you should aim to sample around 5-10% to of the total area, so I should sample 30 positions, but I'm just going to choose 10 today. You then place your quadra at those positions and count the number of chosen organisms, which in our case is our unique species of flower, Daisius paperalis. So once your quadra is positioned, you need to count the organisms, in this case daisies, in the one metre square. One, two, three, four, five. This one here is on the edge of the quadrat, but because over half of the flower is within the quadrat or underneath the quadrat itself, we will count that flower. So that means there are six flowers in this quadrat. We would not count this daisy here because it is not over half in the quadrat, so it does not count. Even if it is partially covered by the quadrat, it does not count unless at least half of that organism is within our one meter squared area. Here are my results. What I then need to do is find a mean average of daisies per meter squared. For me, this is seven daisies per meter squared. To estimate the total population, I just need to multiply this number by the total number of metres squared in the field, 620. This gives me 4,340 daisies. You can use this method of random sampling to compare population sizes in different areas, or even repeat this for the same area at different times. However, there is another way of using a quadrat that allows you to observe how population density varies between two points within an area. For this, we are going to use a transect and a quadrat. The first thing I need to do is lay a tape measure along the area I'm going to be sampling. I've laid this one out to a distance of 10 metres. I'm then going to sample along this line at one metre intervals and count the number of organisms and record those results. So I place the quadrat at the start of my transect and I can see that there is one daisy on the edge of my quadrat here. So I will record that in my table. I then need to move the quadrat up the transect one meter at a time and count the daisies each time. Here are my results. I've plotted a line graph to show how the population density changes with distance from the gate. I could also use a kite graph. As you can see, the number of daisies per metre square increases the further from the gate we are. The most likely cause of this is people trampling them as they walk through the gate, the effect of which decreases with distance from it. This is what we call a biotic factor, as it is due to living organisms. Abiotic factors are those that are not due to living things, for example, light intensity or pH of the soil. 